Hello, this is Eman from Cat Hero. Today we are continuing our Saltbox standalone video series with our first lesson. Now, I want you to fire up Visual Studio and pause this video for a second and wait for VS to load on your machine. Once Visual Studio is up, let's go to File and then go to New, New Project. Now on the left side of the New Project dialog, let's click on Install Templates then Windows and let's pick Windows Forms application as the type of our project. Let's call this thing uh, SWX standalone, that's SaltWorks standalone, and I'm going to save it to this location, C Cat Hero Projects uh, standalone folder. You can save it to any folder. By default, Visual Studio will save that in the Visual Studio folder in your Documents folder. Now, I don't want to create a new Git repository for this solution. What this does is that it creates a source control repository using Git. And now I'm going to click on OK. This is going to create a solution that contains one project. Now, in Visual Studio jargon, a solution is basically a collection of projects. It's a productive unit of work uh, that puts together similar projects. Perhaps you want to add later a installation project and you can do that by adding it to the uh, solution makes it very very productive way of working it also stores settings preferences and configuration information uh, for each user that has worked on a project and that would be in the case of um, source control now let's let visual studio take care of the rest and we're basically now ready to start writing code actually we need to add some references to the SOLIDWORKS API libraries I want you to go to the Solution Explorer and then right click on References. Now, if you don't see the Solution Explorer, I want you to press Ctrl and W all together, then S. And this should bring up the Solution Explorer. Another way of doing this is to go to the View menu and simply click on Solution Explorer. You can see the uh, keyboard shortcut right there too. Alright, now let's go ahead and right click on References and then click on Add Reference. This is going to bring up the Reference dialog box. I've already used the SaltWorks API libraries, uh, so I can just stick them from uh, the recent tab and I'm good to go. For anyone doing this for the first time, they would need to browse to the directory where their SaltWorks is installed and then go to the API folder. And under API, there's another folder called Redist, and then uh, you will find uh, the SaltWorks libraries. The two ones we are interested in are saltworks.interrupt.com sldworks.dll and saltworks.interop.swconst. Now it's also possible to browse to the saltworks interop assemblies and find a folder called clr2. Now the clr2 folder contains the same assemblies as the ones you would find in the redist folder. clr means common language runtime and you would need to use the CLR libraries if you're developing an application that needs to be compatible with SOLIDWORKS 2012 or older. In SOLIDWORKS 2013 the interop assemblies were compiled in CLR 4.0 however CLR 2 applications remain compatible with SOLIDWORKS 2013 and later. Alright let me add the references for my recent tab and we're basically now ready to start writing code so Let's go ahead and make sure to save our progress and I'll see you in the next lesson.